So let's talk about setting up your stylist funnel. We're going to go into what it is and why it's important. So a sales funnel, which every single stylist should have, no matter where you are in your business, the sales funnel is how a business or brand generates and captures the interest of new clients. This funnel is so important because it is literally the process that a client goes through when they are choosing to actually purchase or receive a service from you. This is actually how we land clients in our chair. The main components of a solid funnel are a website. We recommend Milkshake for stylists because this is something that you can literally copy and paste the link and put it in your bio. And it's a mini website that's so easy to put together. Number two, your social media presence. If you are not current or not present on social media, it is going to be a huge red flag for clients and they may not trust you and they may not choose you. Number three, reviews. Reviews are so important. People do their research. I can honestly tell you when somebody chooses a stylist inside of my salon, they have already dug through our reviews and they have a name ready to go. So don't be shy. Make sure you reach out to people and ask for reviews. And when people are leaving, when you are doing services, make sure you throw this into your closing experience. Number four is your reputation. Your reputation is everything. One happy client is not going to say much, but one unhappy client is going to tell everybody. So really make sure that when your guests are leaving the salon, if you need to fix something or you know something needs to be adjusted, take the time to do it before they leave. And of course, always guarantee your work and make adjustments when necessary. And number five is response. Make sure that you are responding to people. If you decide to do this via email or if you decide to do this via DM, however you choose, pick one, don't pick multiple. Make sure that you are actually engaging and responding with people who are inquiring with you. And then, of course, what we love is the pre-appointment experience. This is setting the first impression for the guest. This is communicating with them prior to them coming to the salon, emailing them a professional email, telling them you're excited, really planning for their appointment, asking for pictures of their current hair and pictures of what they are looking to achieve so you can create a game plan and be prepared before they come into the salon. So why the funnel is important is the funnel is going, to, is going to create awareness. During the awareness stage, you want to bring attention to your brand, but you don't need to push any particular product or service. Instead, you should focus on sharing ideas, sharing solutions, sharing your advice, and focus on engagement and connections with people who do not yet know who you are. You really want to focus on solving clients' problems, and this is going to build trust and create a connection around what you do, and this is going to get clients coming back to your page to see results and to find solutions for what they're looking for. Number two, another reason why this is so important is research. You've attracted a potential client and their attention and they want to get to know you more, know more about you and figure out who you are and look at your work. And what other people think of you, reviews, um, of course, that's where they're going to form that opinion. Your main goal is to, at this stage, build a relationship to determine what their end goals are. Another reason why the funnel is so important is because it creates desire. Desire is the key to success. At this stage, your potential client is a full-blown prospect. If you've made it to desire, not only have you caught their attention and you've got them interested in your brand, but they also actually considered making a purchase. However, you're not quite, you're not quite ready to close the deal. Your prospect or future client isn't 100% sure yet. So your solution right now is for their needs and to serve. They're going to be looking on how well you off, your offer fits in their budget, your current business model, and what kind of outcomes they can expect. Next is action. 
this is the stage where they actually take action and they're going to either reach out to you via DM. They're going to book with you online. You need to make sure that you're properly nurturing your potential clients and you're ready to seal the deal and convert them to a full person sitting in your chair. But your goal at this stage isn't just to get your almost customer to buy. And then, of course, you want to reconnect. Follow up with people who have purchased from you. Show that you're invested and that you care. This is so important. So I want you to take a couple action steps for this part of our training. I want you to set up your Milkshake website. I would like you to look into your social media presence. And I want you to think about what you want to focus on. And I also want you to think about and start curating content for your future social media.